Hello everyone. Today I want to discuss with you Corset 2019. Some spoilers. Yes, we already have some spoilers regarding the set of Corset 2019. And also I want to begin discussing with you the story that we will be focusing in the Corset 2019. Corset 2019 will be released in July 2018. It's been only one week since the release of Dominaria and we're already talking about the next set in Magic the Gathering. <coughs> As I said, the next set will be Corset 2019. Also, for the time being, we don't know what the set in Fall of Autumn will be. We only have information till July 2018, that is the core set. And obviously, Wizards of the Coast had said that they will not be releasing more core sets and that Magic Origin was the last core set. But obviously, two years down the line, we will have a new core set. Let's begin our spoilers. We have quite a number of common cards and these common cards are all reprints from previous sets. We have Inspired Charge, an instant that gives plus two plus one until end of turn for each creature. We have Omen Speaker, a creature, human wizard, one three. We have Goblin Instigator, a one one goblin when enters the battle phase, it creates a 1 1 red goblin creature token. We have Mighty Leap. Target creature gets plus 2 plus 2 and gains flying until end of turn. This is a reprint from Amon Cat, if I'm not mistaken. We have Disperse. Return target non land permanent to its owner hand. We have Cancel. Counter target spell. Anticipate. Tormenting Voice. You need to discard the card and draw two cards. This has been reprinted multiple times in the last few sets. Sure Strike. Target creature gets plus 3 plus 0 against first strike. Act of Treason. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Until that creature it gains haste and until end of turn. Scholar of Stars. When it enters the battlefield, if you control an artifact, you draw a card. Onake Ogre, a vanilla 4 2 creature. Loxodon Linebreaker, 3 2 vanilla white creature. Knight's Pledge, and it's an, it's an enchantment, enchant creature, it gets plus 2 plus 2. Hostile Minotaur, a 3 3 with haste. Dwindle, enchant creature gets minus 6 minus 0. Dwarven Priest, when it enters the battlefield, you gain one life for each creature you control. Daybreak Chaplain, it has lifelink. And this brings us to the end of the spoiler. These cards are all common cards, they are all reprints from previous sets. And also, this shows that, as usually, Core Set will have a lot of reprints from previous sets. I hope that Core Set 2019 will have some new mechanics and also some new cards that will add value to the set. Now we'll review a little bit the story that the core set 2019 will be focusing on. Obviously the core set 2019 will be focusing on Nicole Bolas. Nicole Bolas is the antagonist of the last four blocks, four sets. I'm speaking about Kladesh Eater Revolt, Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation, XLN Rivals of XLN and last but not least Dominaria. Four blocks where the antagonist, the villain, have been always Nicol Bolas. Let's see what happened to Nicol Bolas in those four blocks. We know for sure that 
the first thing that Nicole Bolas wanted, thanks to his allied Tezeret, also Tezeret will be featuring in Colset 2019, with his allied Tezeret, the first thing that Nicole Bolas acquired was Planar Bridge. Planar Bridge from Ether Revolt, this artifact was needed by Nicole Bolas and he sent Tezeret on Kaladesh to get this artifact for the bidding of Nicole Bolas. The flavor of this, this card, it's finished, now the real work can begin. And that's what, his, what Tezeret said. Then Nicole Bolas goes on Amon Ket and there he gets his Eternal Army. He gets his Eternal Army and this Hour of Eternity from Hour of Devastation that depicts that his army is ready and is marching for Nicole Bolas bidding. The third thing that Nicole Bolas did was he went on Ixalan, he sent Vraska on Ixalan so that she can acquire the Immortal Sun. The Immortal, the Immortal Sun is a legendary artifact and this artifact has mysterious powers that Nicole Bolas needs. He used, and this is depicted in Mastermind Acquisition, he used the Planar Bridge that he acquired from Kaladesh. He used this bridge, this artifact, to transport the Immortal Sun from Ixalan to Nicole Bolas. When the, when the Immortal Sun is, has been removed from Ixalan, Planeswalker from Ixalan could leave the plane. The last thing that Nicole Bolas did, and maybe this is the last thing in his puzzle, he acquired the soul of Liliana. Liliana, on Dominaria, she defeats Benzenlock, the last demon holding contract to her soul, and therefore she, were, she was free. But Nicole Bolas has claimed her soul and also claiming the planeswalker power to his aid. This is the last thing that Nicole Bolas did. He acquired Liliana and I believe that in course at 2019 we will see what this puzzles, all these puzzles pieces that Nicole Bolas acquires, what they will produce and what will be the result of everything. Course at 2019 will be cultivating the Nicole Brolas Planeswalkers plan. Leave me a comment below. What do you think Course at 2019 will be about? And subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering.